Friday. What's up? It is Social Friday and you are watching Why in the Morning only on Y254 channel. My name is Hilda Wadidi and it's about time we have a deep conversation with some beautiful ladies in studio with me today. Today we are going to be talking about cyberbullying. So what is cyberbullying or cyber harassment? It is a form of bullying or harassment using electronic means. Cyberbullying and cyber harassment is also known as online bullying and it becomes a very increased and popular amongst teenagers and young people so without further ado make sure you do slide into our social media handles and let us know some of your experiences when it comes to online bullying but it's about time we talk to the ladies ah by the way you guys <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jai Wachache, and before we talk to the ladies, I'd like to give them a really nice introduction because yes. they're holding a couple of great titles, mm -hmm. and I think those titles should not go unnoticed. I shall start with the lady on the far left with a wonderful Maasai Red. Thank you for representing Kenya. Thank you. Her name is Audrey Rendo. She is Miss Progress Kenya. And moving on to the right, lady with a white sash is Miss Kavata, and she is Miss Multimedia University, actually. And last but not least, we have the lady in the beautiful green, Kitenge. She's called Ivy Marani. Mm -hmm. She is Miss Planet International, as well as Miss Supranational. Am I saying it right? The Supranational. Yes. Supra. Supranational. <laughs> Supranational. Mm -hmm. eh. National. Yes, national. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Mm -hmm. So we have some beautiful, beautiful ladies on stage. And as Hilda said, we're going to be discussing cyberbullying with them. Yes, so it's about time we delve into the conversation. Um, we are all online, yes? Mm -hmm. Do you have a social media account? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's talk about some of your experiences. Um, what are some of the comments you've received from people that felt like a direct attack on your person or on your esteem? Let's start with Audrey. Okay. Um, I have a social media page. It's mm -hmm. called Beauty Pageants Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I also run Rain Pageants Academy. Mm -hmm. So with my social p media page, I usually follow the lives of pretty much every beauty queen in Kenya because I want to give them the exposure. Mm -hmm. So much as I might not have received such vicious comments against me, but I'm up to date with every beauty queen and what they've experienced one on one. And uh, it hurts me because some of the comments, they're just not deserved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of the comments are not deserved. They're not deserved. In fact, all of them are not deserved. Because as a beauty queen myself, mm -hmm. I understand how much work goes into, into competing, you know, preparing for that title, all the tension, all the money that you put in. So for somebody who doesn't understand how beauty pageants work to mm -hmm. come and tell you, no, you're not beautiful enough for this, mm -hmm. yet many of, people who make, many of the people who make these comments have never competed in pageants before. Ah. So for ah. them to come and tell you uh -huh. who is supposed to win, who's not supposed to win, mm -hmm. it's just not... It's not fair. It's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. It's not appropriate. It's like who appointed you the judge? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> because who said you're the judge? Yeah. There is no pageant that can one have that can have one judge. Mm -hmm. It's usually a panel of judges. Yes. Which means the moment they pick a beauty queen, it is a decision that has been made by maybe five or even ten people. Mm -hmm. So for somebody who doesn't who was to know the on the panel to come and tell you no, you're not supposed to win. <laughs> Make, doesn't make any sense. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What about for my Miss Multimedia University? Well, for me, I was told I am ugly. I have saggy bulbs. Like, yo. Ati, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's deep. Hey. Yeah, but then, for me, you know, I have a very thick skin. And then people who are around me, such as Rendo, like, mm -hmm. their support, like, mm -hmm. just kept me going. Mm -hmm. And more so, they, they just created, I think the bubble is partly... It created some ways for me, like big doors, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So for you, it actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Sure. Okay, Miss Planet Ivy, what about you? Yeah, for me, it was terrible when I was crowned Miss Tourism Kakamega because, you know, Miss Moranga at that time, she was so brown. Mm -hmm. So people took my picture with hers and mm -hmm. they were putting it online, like, compare and contrast, Kakamega and So they were shading your melanin? Yeah, like, she's ugly. And that time I had Guys. short hair. Uh -huh. I think my pictures are online. Uh -huh. they, they used to say that I look like a man. I do not deserve to be, to be their Miss Tourism. Like, Kakamega County Forum was full of that. Like, she's, she's not supposed to be on Miss Tourism. We, are, we have more pretty girls here and right. all that. Uh -huh. You know, uh, and, and something funny, one of the, one of the judges at who, who actually crowned me mm -hmm. is one of the tourism officials and they went ahead and refused to sponsor me at the nationals because they thought I'm ugly and again the same person that crowned you oh the God. same person that crowned me turned against me what and in fact I remember meeting him and asking him at the office like what's going on and he's like 
I don't know, you know, guys do not like you, so I, I cannot just support you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think guys do not like And when I came back, mm. it, they, when I came back to the county, the first lady was like, no, 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 I'm sorry, we cannot work together, guys do not like you, and it's, that's it. So I was trying so hard to go to events, and you know my self-esteem is now down. I'm going to events and I'm like, oh my God, they, they say I'm ugly, maybe they're pointing at me, maybe they're doing stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I used to, I, I, I thank God for me, tourism to Kana County, mm -hmm. because she was supporting me. Every time I used to, to be scared, like, I can't go there, you know, they say I'm ugly. And she's like, let's go, let's go, I'll be there with you, let's just go, I'll stand with you, I'll walk with you, mm -hmm. let's just go. I remember breaking down at the academy and I was crying, I wanted to go home because... I, I cannot go to social media. I thought guys, you didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. because guys are saying I'm ugly. Mm -hmm. The last the last time when I was being given the awards, the the last time I I, I broke down during my speech in Miss Tourism Finals. Mm -hmm. I broke down because I'm catwalking. I'm going and I'm like I'm catwalking, but all these people have said I'm ugly. How are they seeing me? And they're giving me a mic, and instead of talking, I start crying. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I felt like the world maybe just the looking. whole world is. And, and this thing is deep inside our people. I cannot mention names, but that time, even the media, you know, instead of supporting, <coughs> they come to take pictures of that ugly girl. You know? Oh, so they come to help the, the guys online yeah, to troll you. And, and I remember Miss Kamunge chasing some media guys away. Like, I know for me, I was doing the interview. That innocent. must be Gata Press, though. You don't think that yeah. was yeah. From yeah. That was like, yeah. No, 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 Miss Kakamega, don't do that. And she was chasing them away. Like, don't take pictures of her. Just don't. Don't try it, you know. So I'm thinking this thing sometimes, it, it's deep, you know, it starts like one person says she's ugly, then it spreads, the next person who, who, who knew you are not thinks you're ugly too, and oh God. it goes, it goes deep into everyone. There's a wave effect. Yeah. That's actually true, because me, I think in Kenya, we can, we, our social media presence you know, for Kenyans, yeah. we are yes. to go half home and say, and she said it right when one person says one small thing, like maybe they point out one little thing, like mm -hmm. I don't like her nose or something, then someone else will be like, hmm, her nose is by the way, her teeth, you know, even her teeth, mm -hmm. and then someone else will come and say, hmm. Lakini also, Lakini her ears are also like this, yeah. and then it just goes. And <laughs> <laughs> people are mean, and Kenyans uh -huh. are like that. And at the end of the day, you three are extremely beautiful, and I'm sorry you had to endure that. Yeah. That's madness. And I'm sure, by the way, let me ask: um, Have you gotten maybe comments on the positive side after such a brutal negative experience? Did anyone maybe try and tell you that these yes. people are completely blind? My mom. Your mom. Yeah, my mom and my, cause that time, all my friends, whom I thought they were my friends, turned against me. And you're you know, serious. You, you think like you're talking to someone, then you find somewhere they're supporting you ugly, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're your friends. Wow. You so, went and found that the people who are like, oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, are somewhere they're yeah, commenting. Mm. Yeah, oh. commenting Imagine. like, yeah, of course she is, you know? Like that, and they're my friends. Wow. Your own friends. So they, they, they only support. I hope they are now for my friends. I've <laughs> had. I hope so. By the way, yes. That's, mm -hmm. The only supporting feel I've had so far was my mom. My mom, my dad, and my sister. Because I used to call them all the time and, and ask my mom, Are you sure? I'm not, um, I'm not ugly. Guys. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine it must be really hard because you know your mom will tell yeah. you that you are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. she was always telling me, I, I'm not trying to say this because you're my child, but for me, I think you look good. You, you, oh, I think you look really good. good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what she used to tell me all the time. Mm -hmm. And it was tough, you know, because the last time when I was going to crowd now the Miss Tourism for Kakamega, I was told not to crowd. Wow. Yeah, I was told. I remember they, they, they were these guys complaining, the lawyers and everything. People were, what people were like, it was like, whoa, you know. Mm -hmm. They're coming to, to complain and coming to support and saying, you guys are not fair, this girl is pretty and all this. Mm. But there was a speech that was made there and, and I think, I, I thank God because when that person was making that speech, God was preparing something else for me. Wow. Mm. And she, I can quote her words, she said that, in this county, I can only recognize two mysteriousms. 
who have made this county beautiful. Wow. The rest who are here to crown, we are, not going to, we are sorry, but we are not, we are not recognizing this county anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. we only recognize the people who, who can make this county beautiful Better. and wow. everything. And, that you meant know, a lot to you. She say that, and I broke down, but my friends told me, you're not supposed to cry. You're supposed to be happy. Yeah. It's <laughs> not, you're not supposed they to, of joy. to go and, and crown. <laughs> it's not a mask. Yeah. You just sit and joy. Yes. And and go home, you know. So what I'm getting from from uh, from your story is that uh, as much as people think that the, the comments they're making online are harmless, they can actually affect your actual work, yeah. like yeah. 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 whatever yeah. work that you're doing, and then it will come and it will hit you right back. And Audrey, you said something very interesting about the people who are commenting don't know anything about don't know what about is the criteria of being <laughs> judged as a beauty okay. queen. It's called so perhaps you should enlighten them. What are the right. criteria? Right. It's called a beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to crown a beautiful girl, we just go to Nairobi on the streets, Tomboy. It has a lot of traffic, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe grab a beautiful girl and tell her, yo, you want to be Miss Wal Kenya? Yes. Fine, take a crown, sash, go home. Mm -hmm. You won't have to organize a whole, a whole event, an elaborate event with a lot of networking, with a lot of boot camps, academies, ninini. That would be very unnecessary. Mm. But beauty pageants look at more than just beauty. It's mm -hmm. unfortunate that just because it's called beauty pageant, mm -hmm. people just concentrate on the the beauty? Mm. And you know, the pe people's perception of beauty, it's very diverse and it is very relative. So you do not expect whoever is chosen to um, suit everybody's perception of what is beautiful. Yes. What is beautiful to me might not be beautiful to you. Mm -hmm. That is why beauty pageants look at other things. They look at your confidence, mm -hmm. they look at your aura, they look at your catwalk, they look mm -hmm. at your, the way you can speak in public, the way you can answer questions, your charity you know, how you can advocate for maybe whatever platform that you have. Those are some of the things that you, that they look at. So there might be people who the society perceive as beautiful, mm -hmm. but they can't talk. Yes. Do you want to crown a blonde queen mm -hmm. who can't answer normal questions, who can't answer the most basic questions about the country or themselves? Do you want that? Mm -hmm. This person is going to be an ambassador. So those are some of the things that they look like. That is why um, sometimes people get crowned, mm -hmm. she was the best in everything else. And in most beauty pageants, a legitimate beauty pageant, out of the criteria that is look, looked at, beauty yeah. is the least. Yes, that is it is, the, it is the last it one. The least. And you have to have won a lot of the majority yes. of the categories for you to get it. Word, yeah, those mm -hmm. are the things that are most considered. So mm -hmm. when people want to bash you just because of beauty, mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. That's not how it works. You tell them to go and do works. their research. Yeah, <laughs> they should go and do their research. And should, it is not just um, mm -hmm. Ivy and Kavata who yes. who've experienced this. Remember, mm -hmm. I keep up with all pretty much all the beauty queens. Yes, Maglin Geruto was bashed for being black mm -hmm. when she yeah. was crowned Miss World Kenya. Remember? That's true, yeah. Yeah. Then she went on a wild stage and became top five. Yes. Imagine. Yeah. So, <laughs> so guys were left there with their comments. Yes. yes. Like, um, uh oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so back here. So these stones here. they throw, you build your house. Yeah. Take a step. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. That is what I usually tell beauty queens because they usually come to my inbox, they're like, Audrey, I'm going through this. I'm like, every publicity is good publicity. Um, like recently, Miss Maseno was really bashed and mm -hmm. I think I, I, I really advocated for her, you know, encourage people to speak against it. And right now, brands are actually fighting for her. Yes! yes. Oh. Like, turn this around. This mm -hmm. is your blessing. Mm -hmm. Beauty queens need exposure in order, in order for brands to recognize them, to work with them. So I told her, whenever people bash you, Take those stones, build something out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's how it should be. Well, mm -hmm. I remember I've, I've I've just realized that I've told I've asked you guys to tell me the worst comments you've received, and I never mm -hmm. told you the comments I've received. Oh, mm -hmm. I was once told that I have um, bad teeth and fake hair, and um, what else? What else? I'm too thin. Well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and that time I was doing um, um, Miss Daystar, and people like, no, this girl doesn't deserve it like they wanted the girls who maybe are from wealthy backgrounds to get to get maybe those positions i don't mm -hmm. know but i felt really bad and i when and i constantly started to hide my forehead Whoa. i felt i felt like oh maybe, maybe i should laugh a little less you know like maybe it's true maybe my teeth are bad you know i don't know but yeah i get like some of these things actually they 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 hurt you instead. yes they hurt you they hurt you and you subconsciously pick up on that and you become conscious of some of those things mm -hmm. so let's joy mm -hmm. do you have what was your experience do you have an, an, an experience i have i've never run in a beauty pageant but mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um no i do get yeah um most of the time it's um yeah 
too thin, they'll be like, oh, that's... Oh, you're too thin. And I'm like, that's on purpose. I'm trying uh -huh. to attract particular people. That's the reason why I'm thin. <laughs> so uh -huh. I've gotten that as well. Uh -huh. um, uh, I have long natural hair. Uh -huh. I've gotten the whole... Uh, it's a dengu, you know, like the little naps on the front have been called. Ha, ah, she has nini, her hair is so kinky, what? Before <laughs> the natural hair movement came in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my hair was natural for a long time. Mm -hmm. And people hated on that too. Um, and I think my, what do you call it? I struggle with eczema. Like mm -hmm. it's a skin tone mm -hmm. where sometimes um, particular times of the year, like mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. your skin will erupt in particular areas. And then maybe a month from now, it's completely clear. Mm -hmm. And so I used to get that a lot. People would be like, "The hell is up with your skin?" <laughs> I think it's eczema. What am I going to do about it? You know, My I can't do. Eczema, so I understand. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, she has. Um, yeah, yeah. It's you just when people say, and I'm, I think to myself, like, if I see something negative about you, that is the last thing I'll tell you. I'd want to tell you. If I think That's so, the last thing. Like, why <laughs> would What's I? the last thing? Unless, uh, unless I'm just either a bad person, number one, or I just want to hurt you. Why would I want to? Be, why would I say something negative to you unless I want to hurt you? But okay. we didn't hear from we didn't hear from you, did we? Yes. Oh no, she the did. She told, <laughs> she told oh. us. She told us. told she has saggy boobs. Oh yes, my God. <laughs> yes, but, I did hear that. But anyway, let's talk about control. Now, mm -hmm. what can we do about some of this? What are some of the measures that somebody who maybe who is being bullied can take to make sure that they don't get affected? Hmm. Okay. Well, I think it's just high time that we accept that the bullies are there with us mm -hmm. and uh, as, as we go by, like, there's nothing that is changing. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel that if, if you're cyber bullied, just don't take the negativity. Mm -hmm. Just turn it, like, turn it, make it, like, your starting point, you mm -hmm. know? Like, mm -hmm. use it to build yourself. Mm -hmm. Because right now, at this point, like, Zimekwa issues more than, the, like, there's nothing that is changing. Yes. So I think it's just high time we accept it is there. Mm -hmm. And so we just turn it to positivity and start it. Yeah. Like, we, we just build ourselves from it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's talk about your solutions. Mm. <laughs> your solutions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me, I, I got tough. I Gosh. The microphone. Mm -hmm. I, I got so tough with it. Like, I used to, I used to go one by one. I got to a point I used to go one by one, like someone comments, you know, she's ugly and I'm like, Am I really ugly? And you know, I lost respect for these mighty people. Mm -hmm. Like if they went somewhere and said, Oh, she's ugly, I could go to their office and face them and say, You keep saying this all the time, I'm ugly, so describe. So you mm. confront. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love, love that. that. I yeah. went, you know, <laughs> be like say it to my face. Yeah, say it to my face right yeah. now, mm -hmm. you know. Am I? Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the last day, the last day I did that, I think what was Ziri or minister was like, no, this girl is too much, you know? You should just write her termination letter. I can't take it, you know? Because, that, because you stood up for yourself. Yeah, I went there to his <laughs> office and they were having a meeting and I'm like, oh, thank God I found all of you here. <laughs> oh, you said that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so my God. God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh -huh. You say this, this, and this, mm -hmm. that, you know, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. For you, you have kids, daughters. In fact, your daughter is there right now. I think you've seen her. She has short hair too. Can I call her ugly? I went to the chief one by one. What? They were there and I just Whoa. said, no, no, guys, <laughs> I'm just tired of this. You need to stop. Mm -hmm. You need to stop. And the following day I went to the county secretary. Like I was mm -hmm. doing it one by one because I, I wanted it to stop like Completely. once. You have to take action. And they need to see I'm beautiful, you know. And I used to make sure when I go there, I'm pretty. So that <laughs> when I walk out, they're You're like, playing. oh my God, this girl, you know. <laughs> but that made them God scared of me. I saw the last day w when they were preventing me to crown the lady. I realized it's not because I'm actually ugly, but it's because they're, they're not scared, scared of mm. me. And they're scared because when I walk up there and I crown the lady, the public will see that. I'm actually pretty. Mm. I'm not ugly. So they, they were like, no, she cannot come here. They were just scared. Mm -hmm. And they just said, it's fine. And when I went for Miss Supranational, when I came back, there was a function. And um, those, all those people who called me ugly, inc including the tourism people, they're there. They are waiting for me to go say hi, you know. Whoa. And really? I, I, I just said, <laughs> wow. just walked, uh, I, I just said the same. I'm not going to give them respect. I just walked past them. I went, said hi to those people were supporting me 
And I left. I wanted to show them that I cannot be important to you people right now mm -hmm. when I was ugly to you people before. Mm -hmm. you know? uh -huh. It's not possible, mm -hmm. you see. Right now they look for me because <coughs> I'm handling Beauty of Africa International. And I did it on purpose. Mm -hmm. When, when I, I went to, to give proposals to the tourism guys, I just went there and told them, this is for you to, I'm going to choose your girl. Whether I, I choose a beautiful one according to you or an ugly one according to you, you're going to support her. If you don't support her because you think she, she's ugly, I'll do it myself. I'm not going to force you as a county, you know. Can I tell you something just very made interesting? It clear to them. Um, for somebody who's told us she's broken down so many times, she has a lot of fire. She, she does. does. Yes, she does. Because yeah. there was a time she was like, well, she, she, she bursts into tears. Into tears. Yeah. Yeah. It, gets it gets to a point tall. like yeah. you need to take charge yourself, you know, mm -hmm. you not keep on crying every time because mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. have gone, they're saying you're ugly, people you trust, you're ugly. Yeah. You have to take charge and mm -hmm. just focus. So for these models out here, don't cry like because you're not ugly yourself. Let them cry. They will wake like, up. Like, yeah, wake up. Build up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I went there in international and they say, we want to give this crown to the girl who has the most beautiful body, beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, of course it's not me. Um, they, they're like, Kenya. Um, Guy. Okay. <laughs> you're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you, th these people, they, they just don't realize what you go through. Mm -hmm. Once you're selected, you're a queen. You should just be a queen forever. I noticed that crying will not help you. Be a queen and be a queen forever. Because those who are sitting down, they're admiring to be where you are. Mm -hmm. Those men calling you ugly, mm -hmm. they want their kids to be there. I realize that like... One one guy who was calling me ugly. Actually, he wished that the daughter was the current Miss Tourism. Wow! You know? Oh, that's and why. So he was he just was letting it out on you. Me ugly. <laughs> so they were just they are just letting it out. Mm -hmm. The other girls they cannot be models, so mm -hmm. they are calling you. From my friends, I realized they wanted the crown too, and now no, they, they are calling it. me ugly. Oh, you see? And by the way, it's usually it's usually the ones yeah. who competition. competition. So it's competition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These men, you see, like oh, a man can call me ugly. No. And it's because they want their people to be there, but they're not they're there. Not it's true. you. So Boy. just be proud and show them it's you. Let yeah. them just get, get used to the fact that it's you who has the crown. When you're done with it, they cannot go and fight for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. This only does not apply to beauty queens. It applies to, to everybody, everybody in yeah. your different walks of life and all yeah, that. Yeah, mm. that's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. I w um, you know, you said something important. I was like, hey, okay, Zawa. And I don't know if it also applies to you guys. Um, I'd like to know that you've said that you've done something when it came to getting negative remarks. Mm -hmm. You stood up for yourself. You became stronger. Yeah. So I'd like to know for the rest, uh, please share with me. What are some of the ways we can, for our youth, this is a youth station. Do you know that a lot of people go just for, like Hilda said, it's not just for beauty, um, beauty pageant ladies mm -hmm. just people on Instagram or young yeah. girls on Instagram mm -hmm. you know they go and let's say they check out a photo which has been photoshopped it has been filtered the hell out of <laughs> and Yanni <laughs> but Yanni <laughs> you have no idea and they look at it and they're like geez man I don't have that waist my legs are not like that mm -hmm. um, you know my skin is not that smooth all that stuff and you know self-esteem starts to go down mm -hmm. then depression blah 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 mm -hmm. how can how can help how can we help our young ladies when it comes to social media and cyberbullying and feeling low self-worth okay i must admit i felt that way too at some point i think it's a very common problem nowadays mm. especially when when the first time i was crowned i was miss moore university um I was not exactly your girly girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to find my way, mm -hmm. being a pageant, and you know, being a beauty pageant, a, a beauty queen. You know, when you're a beauty queen, people expect you to be fashionable, to yes. live this glamorous mm -hmm. life, to be on point all the all time. The time. Yeah. I hate makeup. I still do, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I only do it when I really have to. Mm -hmm. But you know, there was this one time I actually left after I left my room back in school. Um, without makeup, it was around seven. It was around one, one, not seven. And people are like, oh, Audrey, are you sick? Are you okay? Have Guy. you just woken up? I'm like, God, I just can't walk around with me <laughs> without makeup in these streets. Eh? Wow. So for a long time, I was walking around eggshells. You know, sometimes I wouldn't go to class because I was feeling like um, my outfit is not good mm. enough, you mm. know. And people are looking at me and they really want to see something glamorous. Mm -hmm. I think girls should be real. We should learn to be real. 
and young girls, we should emphasize to them that the lives that they see on, so on social media, social it's media, social media, <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It is a facade, you know, mm. it's not yeah, the truth. Yeah. And yeah. we've had the celebrities say even more than once that these things that you see on social media, it's not true. Yes. So, um, like on, on Wednesday, uh, Kavata and I will be holding a talk about sex education and mental health because we've realized these girls need to hear from us. They need to hear from the horses, more people who've been through it before. Yes. Yes. So through talks, through empowerment, through workshops, through seminars, I think we'll finally get the message across. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. It's about time we wind up this segment, ladies. So I want some quick parting shots. Quick, 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 quick ones. No stories. Just <laughs> parting shots. <laughs> yes. One liners. Yes. <laughs> okay, so for me, I think for mm. the beauty queens who have been affected by cyber bullies, it's just high time that you just straighten your crown and walk your walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Straighten your crown and yes. walk your walk. Mm. Walk your walk. I like mm. that. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's go to the oh. one. <laughs> Okay, for the beauty queens who are undergoing cyberbullying, it's high time you stood for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, one thing I know, for you to have that crown, you're beautiful, so it's high time you use that crown and you're reign, for, and, and mm -hmm. you're reign well. Don't focus on the cyberbullying side. Okay. Then I need people to understand that cyberbullying is a projection of the person who's bullying you. They're mm. insecure, they're, they're, hurt, they're, mm. he, they're evil, hurt people, hurt people. Hurt people, hurt so, people. So yeah, mm. the moment you see somebody coming for you, mm. just be thankful you're not them. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This is true. All right. Thank you very much for your comments. I've seen mm. a lot of power oh. comments coming through. <laughs> And you've really impressed me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait, not that you are. <laughs> anyway, sorry, my name is Hilda Wadidi, and please do not go anywhere. There's something very special happening at JQuad today when it comes to the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation. And yes, it's about time to save, to save ni form, you know, and make sure that your savings are protected. So make sure you catch up with Y254 channel. We are going to be having a lot of fun. It's about time we take a break, and then we can allow one Barry Moses to come, um, come back here. The ladies are not going anywhere. Mm. To come back here and continue with the fun part mm. yes this has been the serious segment but you guys you know this is social friday mm -hmm. and being social means you also yeah a little bit of seriousness a little bit of fun so the serious bit is done do stay tuned like she said barry is coming they're going to have some fun a uh, couple of games and like we said continue to follow us on our social eh, social uh, social media <laughs> hey, also, social media today, today it has refused <laughs> so that you can understand the whole kdic uh -huh. story and the saving for youth and what we're doing yes mm.